Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, Extreme Diamond Sports World Series 2012 uh, Manager's Presentation Meeting. Uh, alongside me is Rick Melenders, our National Director. I'm Joe Butler, the San Diego Director. We're just going to go through a few items on our, uh, on our opening day ceremonies, which is coming up on July 24th at San Miguel Park. The directions for this, this park uh, are posted on the website. Uh, please have your teams there at 11 a.m. sharp for a 12 p.m. opening day ceremonies. It's important that you're there on time because this, this is a timely type event. And uh, your teams will want to bring uh, a team banner with the team name and uh, maybe the team city listed on the banner for the team parade. Uh, shortly after the team parade, there will be uh, pin trading and other activities for the kids. Uh, there also will be a Fungo Man Challenge, our skills contest event which is going to be really fun for the kids, and you'll need to sign up for that online. Uh, it's a, it's a pre-registration online form. So please do that if you want to participate in that. If you want to follow up on the opening day festivities, please keep in mind we do not do a skills contest for a number of reasons. We would rather spend the time um, on uh, things that everybody can get involved with. Keep in mind the opening day festivities, we have all kinds of good stuff going on. We are going to have uh, music, we're going to have food, we're going to have uh, pin trading, which is crazy, okay? So make sure you get your pins, everybody. Um, also, we'll be uh, selling uh, souvenirs, t-shirts. We'll be selling, of course, pin towels. Pin towels are very, very um, popular. Uh, people go crazy over them. So you want to make sure that you make sure you get yourself prepared for the uh, pin trading uh, uh, thing, because that seems to be the biggest thing during this uh, opening day festivities. Once again, we're going to have Fungo Man there. We're going to be having uh, all kinds of stuff going on. I can't even tell you what kind of great stuff we're going on. We're going to be having. So uh, bring the kids out, uh, bring the parents out, bring everybody out, because this is always a great affair. Uh, and we're looking forward to just hosting you at opening day ceremonies, get a uh, good kickoff for the World Series, and then Wednesday we'll go right into, uh, into pool play. Uh, and once again, we just appreciate all of the time and effort that all of you have put together, all the resources that you guys have uh, used uh, just in order to participate in this great World Series. So we want to thank you once again, everybody, myself, Joe Butler, uh, Jim Tuya, everybody, Rick Jr., everybody in our staff uh, that have uh, worked hard all year long to put this World Series together for you. As Joe was saying, for the uh, team check-in, it'll be at Mount San Miguel, um, the day of the opening day festivities and team check-in. Managers, you need to check in your teams from anywhere from 12 noon to 5 p.m. You have that window from 12 noon to 5 p.m. What we will need for you to check in with your packet, you will need to have copies of birth certificates, birth certificates for every player participating in the World Series. You will need to turn in your roster, your Extreme Diamond Sports official roster, that you will complete online. Uh, completing your roster online for the World Series will uh, be a help to you so you don't have to go out and chase your parents around or et cetera, et cetera, for their signatures. Okay, once you complete the roster online through our online roster system with Extreme Diamond Sports, you do not need print signatures. Additionally, you will need proof of insurance. Okay, once that is all checked in, proof of insurance, copies of birth certificates for each player and your team roster. Uh, then you will need to keep your book on you for the duration of the World Series in case of any protest, in case of any questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Please keep in mind that if you do not have your book on you uh, and your question about a, a player for, with a formal protest from any other opposing managers, then that player will unfortunately uh, not be uh, qualified to, uh, or eligible rather, to play that game, okay? Until we get, get the proof that he is eligible to play, okay? So we want to keep that in mind. Uh, also, uh, we want to touch on one thing here real quick, managers. Uh, there will be no consumption of alcohol, of alcohol at any of the open sites. There are the sports complexes that do serve alcohol, but those alcohol, uh, that alcohol consumption is at uh, in, in specific areas of those parks. Okay, I'm going to touch on a, a few of the park policies. Most of these park policies are available for each park on their individual websites. But let me touch on a few just uh, to cover uh, some important items that we need to cover. Uh, first of all, parking. If you're bringing an RV, 
uh, we suggest you park it outside the parking lots, not in the parking lots. You can use uh, on-street parking for your RV. No dogs are allowed in, in just about every park, so uh, just keep your animals in your hotel room or at home, please. And uh, uh, Rick did touch on the alcohol part. Uh, there are two parks that we do use that do serve beer and wine, and those are the Sportsplexes USA complexes. But there are designated drinking areas for those complexes, and uh, they are outlined by the uh, by the complex. There will be gate fees charged at this event in most of the parks. Your coaches and managers will be issued a pass. You'll be you'll uh, be able to have one manager and three coaches for this event. Tournament rules are available on our website at www.extremediamondsports.com. You can also print out a copy of these rules, which is a good idea. Please make sure that you read the rules, print out a copy managers so that you have them at your disposal uh, so that we're all on the same page in regards uh, to the rules. As far as seating, seating will be posted on the website after all pool games are completed. Manager will be signing the official scorecards after games are played. Make sure that the score that is on the scorecard is the correct score because this has the direct bearing, of course, on the seating. If a score is incorrect for some reason, then please, managers, make sure that you notify us uh, right away. And notify us means with a phone call. Uh, you have a number on each respective bracket that you can call and let us know if uh, the score is correct. It doesn't even mean if you won or lost, uh, but what the actual score was. Uh, this is very, very helpful because if, once the seedings are complete and we don't know uh, in a timely manner, then the seedings will unfortunately remain as they, uh, as they were um, in regards to the scores that were given to us. Uh, finally, uh, coaches, if you have any questions in regards to rules or seedings or anything else that's going on in the World Series prior to the World Series, then please feel free to call me directly. Respectfully, I'm asking managers only or team business managers to call me directly. Rick Melendris at 951-538-2111 and I'll be more than glad to answer any questions that you may have prior uh, to the World Series. Uh, I, we, once again, we just want to thank you for participating in our World Series. It's going to be a great event, and we appreciate your participation. See you in San Diego.